things that you give yourself the option to want. And then I think it's a question of understanding yourself well enough to know what things matter to you. <laughs> wow. That is a very, uh, very Lex sounding answer. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to fine tune a GPT 3.5 model uh, in a way that it mimics a person's way of talking. And we're going to do it without writing a single line of code. And I also made a custom GPT to gather the right uh, data set and to have it uh, structure it in the right way for OpenAI to be able to fine tune it. Uh, so we're going to go through that. Uh, a little high level overview of what we're doing. There are basically three steps to it. Uh, you need to find the data. So we're going to transcribe interviews and then we need to structure that data and we need to upload it to uh, OpenAI. Uh, so let's start with the first one, transcribing interviews. Uh, that's how we gather the data set that we need. And here I just went to YouTube and I downloaded a podcast episode uh, of uh, Lex Friedman. So I used U2Mate. Uh, I think all of these uh, YouTube downloader websites are a bit sketchy. There are a bunch of sketchy ads and stuff. But anyway, this is what I used. And um, uh, you basically just paste the link here, press start, and then download it into an MP3 file. And here's the episode that I uh, chose to download. After that, we're going to transcribe the downloaded YouTube file uh, with Firefly's AI. There are free ways of, or there are a lot cheaper ways to do this uh, with, the, um, with the Whisper API. And I have a video, uh, I can leave it up in the corner uh, if you wanna try that out. But, but the reason why I use Firefly's in this case is because uh, I didn't find a way to um, identify the different speakers uh, in the Whisper API. Uh, and Fireflies actually have that capability. So what you do here is you upload the file that you want to transcribe. And after that, you will have them in uh, meeting notes. You'll have all the transcriptions available like this. The next step you need to do is to download that transcription and you download it in the CSV format. Make sure to have timestamps and the speaker um, available here. Uh, so you do need to um, you do need to start a free trial to be able to download the transcripts, but uh, I think they have a week uh, of free trials, so at least you can um, make it work once. Uh, that concludes the first part. We transcribed the interviews, and we now have. A CSV file with the interview. The next step is to structure the data set and, <clears throat> and this was actually the tedious task before. Uh, I played around uh, I played around a lot with uh, trying to fine-tune the Da Vinci model uh, six months back before you could fine-tune GPT 3.5 uh, and I tried to fine-tune it uh, to sound like a specific person. Apart from the results from fine-tuning the Da Vinci model uh, was really off. Uh, structuring the data set was uh, by far the thing that took the most time. And in this case, I've uh, created a custom GPT uh, that is a specialist in knowing the um, OpenAI fine-tuning documents. So it knows exactly how you need to structure a JSON file to be able to send it into uh, OpenAI. And in this case, we're going to uh, be able to upload a CSV file and uh, then it's going to convert it into JSON. So downloading the file, we've already downloaded the CSV file. Let's jump over to, let's jump over to the custom GPT that I built. Uh, it's called Fine Tuning Data Structure Assistant. Uh, I uploaded the CSV file that I downloaded from Fireflies and I said, hey, I want to fine tune a GPT to mimic Lex Friedman, um, how he speaks. Uh, and I have a transcript from an interview and I just said uh, which speaker is uh, Lex. And in this case, it's, it's the speaker one. 
So, uh, it then gives you an example how to structure the CSV file in a, to be able to convert it into JSON. And you need a role, a name, and content. So, you have a system message, which just gives a little bit of context to the model. What is it learning? What is it looking at here? And then you have the user, and you'll have the assistant. Um, in this case, it will be Lex and the other person being interviewed. So as you can see here, you need the uh, one, like the whole question, the whole answer. And here I asked it to uh, merge everything that speaker one said and speaker two, because if you look at the structure from the Fireflies um, AI, uh, then you'll see that every sentence is a different uh, row. So we need this to be a full question and then we need speaker two to be a full answer, for example. And that's what I told it here. It then went ahead and did that. It showed me the example of the final result here and I said, okay, great, you can convert it into a JSON file. And it went ahead and did that. So after that, um, yeah, I also asked it to send me the CSV so I could um, so I could look through it in the CSV format and know that it's uh, working. And anyway, it, it worked. So and and yeah, then I just downloaded uh, the uh, JSON file and tada, you have. Uh, uh, you have a perfectly formatted JSON file ready to be uh, sent to OpenAI for fine-tuning. All right, so uh, we've transcribed the interviews, we've structured the data set, we now have the, the finished JSON file that we need to send to OpenAI. Now it's just uh, the uploading it to OpenAI and fine-tuning left. So head over to openai.com and press login and go into the API part, not the chat GPT. Uh, after that, you will see to the left here, you'll have uh, these little knobs called fine tuning. Go in there. And over here at fine tuning, you'll see your models. You can just click create and you need to choose GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106. Then you need to upload the data set that we just downloaded and click and click upload and select. And from here, you uh, just click create and I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, but that will go ahead and start the fine tuning process. You'll see a little graph of how the model is performing so far. And it usually takes around uh, 20 minutes to uh, uh, train the model. Okay, we have uploaded the JSON file and now the only thing that is left is trying it out. And once you have the ready, uh, once you have the file ready, just go over to playground and you need to change this from assistant into chat. Uh, and here you'll be able to access your new model and it's going to be under fine tunes here. And the moment of truth. Uh, I've played around uh, a little bit with this model and some sometimes it actually sounds like uh, gibberish. It's just trained on one video so far and I think you can give it a lot more examples and you can also work on the system message to give a little bit of more context of what it's uh, going, what it is actually learning. Uh, but so far actually I haven't found a source that talks a lot about uh, how how to actually like uh, like how to structure the data set in the best way to for certain uh, things and certainly like having it sound like a person is one of the more advanced things to do because the easy thing uh, to do that I've seen most people doing is uh, for example converting an invoice into the key numbers in there and like uh, easy stuff like that but actually fine-tuning it to sound like someone uh, is, seems to be more uh, advanced but let's try it out um, let's have a little lengthier answers and uh, I'll change the temperature to 075 because they get really creative once they're fine-tuned 
Um, all right, so now we're getting interviewed by Lex Friedman. Uh, hey, Lex. Eric here. It's great to be here in the studio with you. Let's go. Okay, uh, what should be our first topic? <laughs> the first... <laughs> All right, so the first topic should be how do we know what it is we want? Interesting. Let's have it uh, talk a little bit. Um, all right, I think that the question, what do you want, is a very difficult question to answer. And I think that I'm, in my experience, the clear, the clearer a sentence of what I want, the better chance I have of getting it. Let's actually do like this. It's so hard to distinguish if uh, just by reading like this. So let's train a voice model to sound like Lex and then give him this text to uh, express. Uh, all right, so we're back. I downloaded uh, two minutes of his voice uh, in an MP3 file. I uploaded it into Voice Lab here and you can create a voice clone really fast. Um, and then I created Lex. So let's have uh, him say this thing that he said. Uh, all right. I think that the question, what do you want, is a very difficult question to answer. And I think that in my experience, the clearer a sense of what I want, the better chance I have of getting it. That's quite good. <laughs> Uh, that uh, it it's such a difference to just he hear him say it. Uh, let's go ahead and ask another question. All right, so I asked the follow up question. Interesting. Uh, I think so too. How do you make it clearer? And he answered this. Let's just uh, give the model the text, and we'll see how it sounds. I think that there are tools that you can use to help figure out what it is you want. I think journaling is a good tool. I think meditation is a good tool. I think therapy is a good tool. I think coaching is a good tool. I think talking to friends is a good tool. I think the more you talk to people, the more you put yourself in different situations, the more that you open yourself up to different experiences, the more you read, the more things that you give yourself the option to want, and then I think it's a question of understanding yourself well enough to know what things matter to you. <laughs> wow, that is a very, uh, very Lex sounding answer, actually. Um, wow, cool. So we've done all the steps. Uh, we transcribed the interviews. I showed you how to uh, structure the data with the uh, custom GPT, which I will be sharing in the description below. And uh, we have uploaded it and tried the model. A few things to know with the fine tuning data structure assistant. So this assistant is uh, first instructed to um, ask you questions to um, uh, like make you decide uh, what your goal with the fine tuning will be then it's going to give you an example of how to structure that data set. After that, you can just go ahead and upload the CSV file and it will restructure it to uh, a JSON format that you can then download. But sometimes it makes mistakes. The first time I did this, uh, it, I think it had a null value in one of the cells, like an empty cell. Um, and that came back in an error message uh, in OpenAI. I just grabbed the print screen of the error message, sent the print screen in this chat, and it fixed it for me. So it's not perfect. You might need to go back and forth uh, with it uh, a little bit. Uh, but oh man, is it quicker than uh, <laughs> structuring the data manually? I used to spend like hours on uh, just finding different uh, formulas in Excel to um, to do this. And it took so much time and, uh, well, this was really easy. Um, so finally, I'm really satisfied with the result. Uh, so an idea 
that you're welcome to uh, build upon that I have on this is building a psychologist. I want to transcribe hours and hours of uh, a psychology session to have it ask questions in a way that like the best psychologists in the world um, ask questions. Um, and then you can combine that with the knowledge ba base of all of these uh, whatever books that you want it to be inspired by. And I don't know, I think uh, selling online uh, psychologist, um, psychologists would be a great business idea actually. And I think they could do a good job. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's how you fine tune a GPT 3.5 turbo model without writing a single line of code and with ease uh, of structuring the data. I'm excited to see what the GPT 4 model will be like when we can fine tune that one. And it should be any week soon. Uh, it should be released before the year ends. So I'm going to give it a new try when we have the new model. Uh, subscribe if you want to see that video. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let me know if you try this out. And also, especially let me know if you have ways of uh, playing around with the system message that gives better results or uh, yeah. Uh, leave the comments of whatever results you got from it. Um, so, okay, that's it. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.